Good ball forward. Uh, a lot of uh, challenges for it. Uh, Collins are caught. Because it's another creative midfielder, Charles Aquimba. This is Burrow saying, move forward. I want to give you this ball on the line. Because that front throw, it's going to be for Gorma here. Well, Gormari already have uh, substituted Musa Mohamed. He's, uh, he's not able to come back on the field of play. And uh, in comes uh, Bruno Charles in jersey number 21. Uh, Jacob Curley trying to come in from the right side. The Leopards have got a man on the ground. Uh, and uh, well, I think it takes uh, his uh, time and decides to come back into the under the game as uh, the attempt is uh, to try and bring the cross from the right side. Oh, I think taking just a little bit too long to try and uh, do it. The higher side pick up uh, the ball now and they decide to set it onto the right side. Uh, this will be a throw-in for uh, Godmar here. Uh, we're playing uh, just a couple of seconds in regular time. Musa Mohammed has been uh, substituted. And uh, Charles Bruno came in uh, in his place, Jacob. How well do you know Charles Bruno? Well, he's a former Liberty Academy player. Then he had one time at, at, at a stint at uh, Thika United. Just joined uh, Gormaya in the middle of the season. It's a good cross coming in from Timothy Otiero, having gotten the better of... Uh, Martini Balambala and Jim Abdallah. So Liberty Academy has provided for uh, Charles Bruno, or Bruno Charles, if you like, and uh, recently signed to Gormaya as well. Mangoli plays it to Afula, who tries to veer off on the other side. We're playing four minutes of added time in this game, which is still uh, a lot of time in a game of football. In Balambala, the scorer of the second goal for the Leopards. A uh, little flip, sends the ball back to Jerry Monyango. He's touched the build-up for uh, Gormaya from the left side. Eric Kuchin in the midfield. Oh, then back to uh, Walu Simbi, who plays it out to Burrow for the shot! When Wycliffe Kasaya, as tall as he is, just clowning, making sure that it goes over the bar for uh, a goal kick for uh, the Leopards. But some good build-up from Gormaya, Jacob. Uh, Walu Simbi to Boro and Boro just trying to hit the far post, but a little bit too high for my Tasca player. Back in the midfield and uh, a handball to uh, this position to the Gorbaya side. Timothy. Oh, he's got some very good touches, the youngster. <laughs> but I think uh, he well, also handled the ball, did he? Yes, it was a handball by Timothy. That one right in front of the assistant referee there. There's uh, this one set it out. Uh, what a throw in. Danny Sir Kuma going in a bit, bit strongly. But a good pick now by um, Boru and Danny Sir Kuma trying to combine to get through. And uh, Sir Kuma knows that he was going to go through two towering, uh, two twin towers. And that wasn't going to be good enough for. Uh, him to get the ball in. Here is a cross from the Lampard, picked up by Humphrey Mieno. Oh, he doesn't go for the shot, but Fuller doesn't go for it either. And a foul that has been given to go by here. Oh, well, it will be a waste of a foul. But Fuller is already wincing in pain on the other side. I don't know if uh, the referee says it has to be done again. But I think the Keepers will, um, the doctors will be working overtime to get a fuller back on his feet because they really need to get back into the game uh, to try and see if they can uh, launch the uh, winning goal. Now, this is a, a Jumar Abdallah. <laughs> uh, I think for distinction purposes, we'll call one Jumar Abdallah and the other one Abdallah Jumar because the coach is also Jumar Abdallah and uh, the left back is uh, Abdallah Jumar. One of the newest men on the field now, Charles Bruno. But uh, well, Fuller seems to have been feeling that pain on that attempt to try and cross the ball when he was in the box. And the game will go on without him. Oh, and I can tell you that will dampen a little bit of the attack on uh, the uh, Leopard side. Well, into the area. Eric Kuching! Well, a half-spirited shot that he brings into the game. 
Oh, is it gives that for a goal kick? It's going to be for uh, the uh, Leopard. Uh, just about 30 seconds remaining in uh, this uh, 76th meeting of FC Leopards and Kormaia with uh, the Leopards having started the scoring in the first 31st minute and then Daniso and Kuma restoring parity in the 43rd and then doing it again in the 46th but then Impala Bala in the 82nd minute of the game and uh, makes things level. This is a foul and it is going to be for Kormaia so we might not be having a lot of playing time in this one. Very clean game and no cards. At least Mr. Aero decided to keep it clean. And that is the whistle for the final minute of the game. A draw in the 76th meeting of Gormaia and the Leopards. We just answered the statistics. 29 draws out of the derby. And the Leopards have won it 27 times. Gormaia 21. It usually negates all the other statistics when it comes to a derby. But this time round, it ends in a draw. A brilliant game that was topped up for a little while in uh, the first half. Uh, I mean, just at the at the break, uh, about 10 minutes, was spent uh, in just trying to restore parity on the stones before getting back into the game. But what might look like a good result could have been very easily a celebratory result for either side, and more so for Gormaia. We were leading it right up to the 82nd minute, but looked a little bit uh, slow and uh, quiet in uh, their execution, especially in defense. But Noah Fuller is the man who opened it up in the 31st minute for uh, the Leopard side. And has really been a handful with some very good runs, very good ball control as well, that has helped them out. I tell you, a little bit of fun uh, on the other side. But uh, Wycliffe Kasai has thrown his jersey to the fans on the other side. But from the Nyeha National Stadium, it's FC Leopards 2 and Gormaia 2. Noah Fula and Imbalapala, Sarinkuma with a press in this game. Well, there you go, Dabi Drama here at the Nyayo National Stadium. That pretty much is the situation. Four goals over two halves in the 76th derby when it comes down to Kormaya and FC and Leopard. Well, it's been a game that pretty much has excited the neutrals, both uh, segments of fans who are probably hoping to win this very game. But then that is the game for you. As a matter of fact, I'm joined by the man of the match, the Ugandan international, uh, Dan Serunkuma. Uh, first of all, what did you make of the game? You scored twice on your return. Yeah, it was, uh, it was good so that, that I, I scored, but uh, we were just disappointed because we didn't win, so because we were very ready to win this game, but hopefully we shall win other games. And uh, talking about uh, your performance as well, let's fully focus on your performance. You haven't been with the team for some time. How do you think you easily gelled in? Yeah, it's not new to come back because uh, I know everyone who has been playing, so it was good because uh, you know, always it's very good when you win this match, but... Uh, we very disappointed because we didn't win it and we had the chance of winning it. And let's talk about the, the table in general. You probably wanted to win, but you can't win. You're still doing well on the table. How much of an impact could this have now on the league for Gormaia? Yeah, one point, uh, it's not bad, but uh, we, 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 we still have uh, a lot of matches. So we hope we shall win the remaining matches so that we can take the lead. Well, there you go. There is... Uh, your walk uh, right there means you can actually watch all the action on your World of Champions on the move. Uh, congratulations, Dan Serunkuma, and uh, we do hope uh, you can enjoy the viewing as well. There you go, uh, the man who has scored two goals in this game. He scored one in the first half, scored the other in uh, the second half, and pretty much gets Gormahia, the one point from this very game. Let's quickly cross over to our studios now and catch up with uh, Chico Lawi. I'm here to question.